Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kayla. Um, happy Vlogmas Day 7. As promised, I'm going to get down to what things people from the Midwest say. And I went through a list of 21 things. Most of them didn't apply to me. It was mostly for Wisconsin or Minnesota. So I picked things that were familiar to me. I live in the Chicago suburbs, so I'm kind of you know, right in the middle of the Midwest. Um, so the first one I picked out was Bubbler. A lot of people in Illinois don't use this one, but my family in Wisconsin does. I hear them say this a lot. Um, so I'm really familiar with that one. For those of you that don't know, Bubbler means a water fountain or a drinking fountain. The next one um, on the list that I found relevant was come with dot dot dot. So a lot of Chicagoans that I know use dangling prepositions. So like, for instance, hey, do you want to come with? Normally people would follow that up with me. So, hey, do you want to come with me? But for some reason... Chicagoans, especially, that I've noticed, because that's all I'm around. Um, Chicagoans leave off the me and just keep it dangling. So, when you're at Columbia, and that was a lot that we talked about, just how Chicagoans leave that dangling at the end. Um, Expressway, I know that I use this all the time. A lot of people call it an interstate or a highway or a freeway, but Chicagoans use expressway a lot, especially when talking about I-90. That's, I definitely call it the expressway. I would never call it, you know, highway or anything else like that. The next one I thought was especially funny, Jeet. So a lot of the time Midwesterners want to make sure that you're doing okay. They always want to check up on you. So if someone is feeling ill or just generally isn't feeling good, a lot of the time people will ask, Jeet? So that's like a combination of did you eat, but all together, like mashed together. And I think it's so funny because I hear that pretty often. It's pretty common. Um, and I just thought that was pretty funny. And then the, the next one and final one is Ope. So if people from the Midwest bump into another person on accident or bump into like a piece of furniture or just make like a weird small general mistake, they'll just say Ope and like move on. And or like Ope, sorry, because... I've found that Midwesterners are very apologetic too. For things, for such small things, you wouldn't normally be like sorry for, but people from the Midwest apologize a lot. So that's my list for today. I thought it was pretty funny. Comment if you liked this video, if you liked this concept. And yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll update later.